Martin Espada was born in 1957. He was born in Brooklyn, New York, to a politically engaged Puerto Rican family. He studied history at the University of Wisconsin Madison and earned his JD from Northeastern University. For many years, his brother was a tenant lawyer and legal advocate. His first book of poetry, The Immigrant Ice Boys Bolero, 1982, included photographs taken by his father, Frank Espada. Espada's subsequent books, including Trombers from the Island of the Eviction, 1987, Rebellion is the Circle of a Lover's Hand, 1990, City of Coughing and Dead Radiators, 1993, and Imagine the Angel of Bread, 1996, won significant critical attention. Often concerned with socially, economically, and racially marginalized individuals, Espada's early work is full of highly evoked heart-wrenching narratives. Espada's book, Rebellion is the Circle of a Lover's Hand, won the 1990 Pan Ripson Award and the Patterson Poetry Prize. Though defensively and insistently political, Espada's work is also known for its gentle humor. Leslie Uman concluded in the Kayon Review that Espada's poem tell their stories and flesh out the characters deeply, without shrewdness and heroic, and vividly enough to invite the reader into a shared sense of loss. When his mother became a Jehovah's Witness when he was young, his father's Puerto Rican family and culture embraced him. His father, Frank, was a Latino activist as well as a photographer, catching moments of the Puerto Rican and Latino culture and struggles of being a migrant in the United States. His father's activism had a deep effect of Martin and his writing. Growing up with a photographer shaped his world, he said, and the subject of his father's photographs are reflected in the things he chooses to write about. He writes about Puerto Ricans living in America, their day-to-day -day struggles and overcomings. Martin Espada has stated that migration is an inescapable fact about the Puerto Rican community. We are the Palestines of Latin America. We have no nation. We wander in search of a nation, and we have not found one yet. The personal episodes, recounted stories, and legends of Zapata's work are embedded in the larger history of migration and uncertainty, carrying with it feelings of displacement and alienation for the members of the migrant communities. Zapata writes to be a voice of the unheard. He writes about those who do not have a voice. He uses his own experiences and the history of his family and community. Zapata redefines the border as a place of multiple voicing, of knowledge, of tradition, and more importantly, as a site of rebellion. His first book, The Immigrant Ice Boys Bolero, written in 1982, Espada tells stories of migrants coming to America. He describes the harshness of traveling across the border, as well as the intense labor jobs that they come across the border to receive. He goes into detail the different kind of people and the methods of travel and how they are treated once they are into America. From the Immigrant Ice Boys Bolero, Heart of Hunger. Smuggled in box cards through fields of dark morning, tied to bundles at railroad crossings, the brown grain of faces dissolved in bus station dim. Immigrants, Mexicano, Dominicano, Guatemalteco, Puerto Ricano, orphans and travelers. Refused permission to use gas station toilets, beaten for beer in unseen towns with white porches, 
or evaporated without a tombstone in the peaceful grass. A centipede of moving hands, hands clutching infants that grieve, fingers to the crucifix, hands that labor. Long past back roads paved with solitude, hands in the thousands reach for the crop ground together, the countless roots of tree lightning torn, capillaries running to the heart of anger. Tobacco picker, grape picker, lettuce picker, obscured in the towering white clouds of cities in winter. Thousands are bowing to assembly lines, frenzied in kitchens and sweatshops, mopping the vomit of others' children, leaning into the iron steam and the steel mill glowing. Yet there is a pilgrimage, a history straining its arms and legs, an inexorable striving shouting in Spanish at the police of city jails and border checkpoints. Mexicano, Dominicano, Guatemalteco, Puerto Rican, fishermen waiting the North American gloom to pull a fierce gasping life from the polluted current. <laughs>